All right. I had to uh, rewrite the library for Metal Software to uh, change the output range where it computes the final output of the PID uh, from 0 to 1 to negative 1 to 1. Uh, the problem being that for a 0.5 center, it took a extraordinary long amount of time for it to climb up to that 0.5 to center itself. Uh, and then it would just drop right back down to uh, a zero quickly when you straighten it back up, or a 0.5. Now, this was when I was tuning only the P value, the proportional. Integral and derivative were both set to zero. Uh, so it got rid of, number one, the breaking effect of the integral, and number two, uh, it got rid of the expectational effect of the derivative. So it was left with just proportional, a one to one, you know, basically you push this much gas, I'm going to put this much power down. That's all I was doing. So in theory and it, with the math, theory works different from math here in this case. It takes a long time to climb and a really short duration to drop back down. Uh, I don't know why I can't explain it. It should set right up to that point vibe and stay right there and it should be good but it was not it was taking a very very long time to get the the robot to balance but let me show you a couple of videos I got set up here uh, and when, if you do decide to change your library remember that when uh, uh, Visuino updates you're gonna have to redo it you gotta rechange your values because it'll set it back if he if he changes the library then you know guess what you lost your changes and if you ever want to edit them you're gonna be searching for a reason why and it's not gonna be evident there but you know what I mean so let's get at it I'm gonna put this together and show you uh, the reason behind uh, me just making that decision to rewrite the library All right, so to get yourself set up, you're going to compute it to zero out of your gyro, no matter what you got to do. Uh, try to get it to zero so you can see the issue. Then you want to filter it either through the complementary or the common filter, either one. Complementary doesn't take as much process or time. PID values are uh, P is at one. The I integral and derivative are zeros. Uh, now we're going to remap it on a negative one to one scale. From, uh, from negative 1 to 1 to a 0 to 1 so we can end up with that 0.5 and then 10-digit uh, accuracy on your text output. Uh, this is set up for a 0.5 center. If you switch the library you have to switch the two modules around the remap and the PID. Alright so here you can see the uh, stock library in use and how long it's taking for that value to increase it's very very slow to increase and then when I straighten the robot out it drops like a rock uh, so this tells me that there is definitely an issue going on that could be uh, part of what is going on this kind of graph is absolutely not what you want to start with to tune a pit on a bite balancing robot. All right, now this graph shows you the uh, one to one ratio in the rewritten PID library. As I tip it, it's a nice smooth transition uh, between the two values in and out of the PID. So this is a very, very good basic starting point. All right, so this is the original library that it's uh, using right there in line 111, where it computes the final output. At the end is where you can uh, change your output mappings. Uh, here is where it has been changed from a zero to a negative one, uh, right there. All right, so you know there is a possibility of what your problem could be if you're having a problem. 
trying to get the uh, uh, TID, fil TID algorithms right. If your robot's not acting right, if it's jumping around and you're having a super hard time getting it to uh, it, to get a set point so you can finally start tuning your PID, this could be your problem. Now, you have to remember that a lot of applications use a 0 to 1 rate but there's differences between the 0 to 1 and the negative 1 to 1, which are clear, absolutely clear. Uh, remember to only change your library if you uh, cannot get it right. And this might be an issue, might be your problem. But like I said, if you do do it, you're gonna, you might run into problems down the road. So uh, be careful with it. Always make a copy of your current PID library right click it copy and paste it and all you'll see is a copy of it right there next to it before you go editing anything just in case you know use your head you want your robot to balance you got to start with your brain first so let's just leave it at that and i hope this helps because it does matter what your input grade is what the inputs you put into the pid uh and comma filter they do matter so if you want to get a good output, you got to get a good input, and then you can start tuning it. Uh, so thank you.